All right, welcome to section three, not technician tools. All right, today's tool is gonna to be ping. Yes, the most fundamental tool in the knock. We use ping all the time to what? Test connectivity, test reachability, to test the network, all right? So before I get started with this lab, we're using Cisco Packet Tracer, all right? It's free app, it's a free app, and you go what? Lab on it, practice, you know, for the real world. Um, I do want to mention, in the resource session of this course, I do have a ping PDF detailed blog that has a lot more information that could benefit you so make sure you download that and also i have the same lab i'm using in this demo um in the resource section so make sure you download that and practice with it all right so let's go over a brief overview of ping all right so we have router one router two router three all right let's see if router one could reach router three Let's test it out. We're gonna go on the CLI. That stands for the command line interface. All right, let's get in there. Since we're using what, Cisco, we're gonna use Cisco commands. Enable, which is, I'm using EN, which is short for enable. And we're gonna ping router three. You guys see the IP address of router three? 10.10.20.1. So let's put that in here, 10.20.1. Let's see if router one could ping router three. So it's set. bam, success rate 60, do that one more time, 100%. Bam, so router one could reach router three. So we have connectivity, but let's say router two disappears. Ooh. Oh no, <laughs> can we still ping router three? Let's see. On Cisco, um, you can just press the up tab and it'll just bring up the previous command. Let's try to ping it again. Will it work? And we're gonna explain why or why it doesn't not work. All right, so let's see. Do, 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 do. It doesn't work, why? Because router one's on a different subnet. 10.10.10.1, router three's on 10.10.20.1. These are two different networks. Remember, the purpose of a router is to connect two networks together, two or more. So that's what router two was there for. Let me undo that and give you an example. Undo. See, router two connected 10.10.10, .10 same network router one's on, and with uh, network 10.10.20.2. So it connected both of these networks and it, allowed, it could allow communication between both networks. That's the purpose of a router. So that's why I couldn't ping router three. All right, so now that I added router two, let's see if I could ping router three. Actually, let's switch it up. I'm gonna go on router three. Let's see if I could ping router one. Oh no, I do not want to delete router three. And line, again, enable. I'm gonna type in the full command this time. And let's ping router one. 10.10.10.1. Let's see. Come on, can you read? Bam, so we have connectivity. Why? Because we added router two, all right? That's the default gateway for both of these subnets. All right, so that's just a brief overview of ping. Again, check out those resources I linked in the um, section. They have more detailed explanation on them and make sure to do this packet tracer lab to get that hands-on experience, all right? This is one of the tools you're gonna use a lot in the knot. <laughs> I'm telling you, you I use it almost all the time. I'm gonna be honest. So make sure you get that pain mastered to help you become a better knock technician and build up your troubleshooting skills. All right, take care guys.